Hi all, Alan here from Damn Good Reviews. Today I have Adobe's Photoshop Elements 11. Uh, this is their latest release of their Elements series and uh, I've used uh, Photoshop, the full version, for as long as I can remember. I uh, started out in high school, uh, maybe even before that and uh, you know I've gone through the years so very familiar with Photoshop, use it um, with a lot of uh, current uh, work that I do and a lot of the Adobe products but the elements if you're looking to get into Photoshop or looking for a um, um, a really good advanced photo editor that's very affordable um, this is really uh, a great tool the element series is really amazing you saw my other video I'm sure or read it about the photo uh, the premier elements 11 which is just over the top I was absolutely amazed by it Right here, this is the interface for Photoshop Elements 11. If we uh, go ahead, we have three different editing options. We have a quick edit, which uh, gives you some just a few basic things here and makes it very easy for the individual that's just starting out um, to just make a couple selections of what you want to do. Uh, without having to understand the advanced photo editing options but you can go through and you can highlight over it and get different um, effects and everything like that we can do an auto smart fix we have exposure color balance sharpen and um, you know everything like that so you'll see like the different parts of the image uh, you know get sharp or, or go a little fuzzy we also have um, these things right here where we can make the different sizes we can see um, you know, if we want to see what the print size will be, obviously that's pretty big, you know, because it was uh, shot on a, um, a pretty big format digital camera. We can zoom in and all that uh, type of uh, easiness right there. I mean, that function is right there for you. And the quick view, we also have a quick selection tool where we can select different area areas of uh, the the object and you can make the size bigger you can also refine the edges and then more uh, we have a, a whiten teeth tool which I don't have any teeth on here but let's see if I can uh, if I can make it work so let's see if I try yeah, it's not really gonna work too good but I mean, you can see it brightens everything up. So it's it's really just a brush that's going to brighten uh, the scene up. And of course, you can change um, you know the different sizes and everything like that. And you can subtract and uh, add the size. We have your basic text tool, and then uh, we have a spot healing uh, brush, which will um, you know heal different areas of the image. So say you have some scratch marks, you can go over it. And then of course we have our traditional crop tool, so we can go here and then uh, select the area that we want say that's what we want you can just hit OK and then that's our crop so I'm gonna just go back here and it also talks about rule of thirds which is the photo um, you know photo technique where you don't want to uh, you don't always need to center everything and uh, you know the different grids can really help you out and uh, you have your different sizes and, and more Let's go ahead here. So. All right. All right, so we have this, and then we have our uh, different tool options. Obviously, that brings up this screen right here. Undo, redo, rotate, um, and the organizer. I'll show you this real quick. The organizer is a lot like the one that's with uh, Adobe Premiere Elements and you can do a lot of things where you can organize your photos and media and tag it with either people places um, and all types of different things to make searching for certain photos or videos extremely easier so um, while that's loading let me just show you some of the top features we have here of course this is all you know under the quick mode oh there you go all right, so we see this here, and again, we can sort by people, places, and events, and we have the different folders, and you'll see uh, actually some other reviews that I've done here. So 
we can really go into this and again we can search by any of those tags making it extremely easy to find something especially if you're working with certain things say you know uh, you know damn good reviews uh, photo you can type in damn re good reviews as long as it's tagged and you'll be able to bring up everything that's linked to that making it pretty simple to uh, keep track of your photos and uh, videos as you, we all know how these digital cameras are they just get all over the place um, the next option we have here we have the guided and under guided we have um, some really uh, interesting um, effects and stuff and what this will do is kind of take you through step by step of of what you need to do uh, one of the really interesting ones here we have let's see if I can uh, get it to come up we have the tilt shift which I'm not sure if it's gonna work with this but tilt shift actually takes photos and it will not only put the background out of focus a little bit but it's supposed to give it more of a miniature type look so of course yeah, it didn't really work with this photo but if you had a photo of houses almost like the one that they show here from San Francisco of course those are the full house houses um, you know it, it could really help with the uh, with a cool effect and it will make the foreground really pop also we can modify the focus area so if we want to do something like that you know if, I can drag and drop what I want to do. So, you know, really, you can get some pretty cool effects. You know, if you maybe want to just focus on the guitar. And then we can refine the effect, too. So I'm just going to cancel that. We can do things like uh, recompose, lighten, darken, use levels. Now, these are getting into some more of the advanced features, but it's good because the guided will kind of tell you how to use those advanced features. We have our sharpen. Again, if we want to sharpen this here, so we can always go. And, you know, keep in mind, the more you sharpen, um, the more green that's really going to come into the image. We can make it an old-fashioned photo. We can adjust the tone, um, you know, depending on what we want it to look like. So let's go with a, you know urban look or a newspaper. It kind of gives that the different uh, tones and everything like that. So let's go to... And we can add the texture and of course we can go into this stuff and we can uh, modify it so there you know that's the final and you can modify everything from there really really great um, we have some vignette effects um, you can do line drawings if we want so let's do a pencil sketch and some of these I don't know how often you're gonna really use these but it could be something cool if you're looking for that type of look and then we also have the depth of field which could ultimately work a lot like that other tilt effect too if you're not using it on home so let's just do a simple one here uh, we can add the blur and then we can add the focus area so you know same idea like we talked about before so pretty cool you know especially if you want something in the frame to pop I mean having features like this in a powerful photo editing program already this is really really great um, and then we have a lot of the other stuff that we can get up and you know come up here if we want to use some of the other drop down menus some of them are not highlighted obviously because you don't need to do anything with them so instead of having certain things like all highlighted it turns off what you either don't have access to or don't need to use and then under the create menu here we can create everything from photo prints, photo book, greeting cards, slideshows, CD jackets, and some of these are like uh, our templates and and things like that. So if we do a CD jacket, let me just show you. So we have the CD jacket template and we'll get the basic template and then it gives you the sizes and we can go ahead and we can drag in what we want to. Now for you more advanced users out there, after even if you've done the guided tour, you have the expert mode and the expert mode is going to be the closest that you're going to get to the full version of Adobe Photoshop and this is where a lot of your other features um, really come out we have our um, our window here with our different layers so we can uh, add new layers where you put stuff on top of other things we can merge down merge the visible flatten uh, we can turn layers on and off so if you want to do that I mean, really, these are a lot of the features that you will find in Photoshop. We also have our um, our different effects here um, as far as what you want to do with the image or um, that layer. We can set it as soft light, hard light, vivid light, um, you know, have a, a layer that we're adjusting the U, saturation. These effects are all found in the full version of Photoshop, which 
is you know a lot more money than this introductory level one and um, what else do we have here we have this area down here with the feather options where if we want to feather uh, the different areas so if we want to select something and uh, feather it out we can always refine the edges we also have our effects so this window over here is going to be not only layers but we can click quickly click through if we want effects bevels um, image effects and, and things like that so you know just really quick stuff and then uh, let's see what else we got here so we can undo it I just did you can undo here or you can do control Z which is really easy and of course we have these type of filters and quick effects that we can put on all these different types right here I mean there's a lot and a lot of stuff and we have the graphics these are some um, built-in backgrounds and frames and different graphics and shapes that you may want to use easily just click it and drag it right in or, you know double click it and it goes right in and, and you can fill it if you want so if, say we want to go ahead and we want to fill that graphic patterns here or anything like that let's go ahead and we'll take that out actually wasn't on the right layer to get that to work so but we do have that and it created the shape layer so we can always go into that and modify it we can also do favorites and then there's some more options here as far as working with some more the really advanced stuff we can do actions which actions are like um, kind of programming presets where you, you can do different things and it will apply it to the photo um, color swatches histogram this is um, really good to learn when you're actually trying to edit the photo properly and get all the right levels uh, here's your history so if you need to undo something or get rid of something uh, navigator and your info about the photo uh, we also have the layout window we can select from all these different types here on the right uh, or on the left hand sidebar we'll see some other um, tools we have the selection tool just the move tool the classic lasso where we can go ahead and lasso something a lasso selection and and then we also have the quick selection tool and again you have the more advanced settings here so if you want to set it to be you know more sensitive or less sensitive you can do that other quick features we have is the red eye removal tool so if your uh, user has uh, or the photo has red eye in it you can easily use that and click it this right here again is the spot healing tool which is used for like scratches and, and quick touch-ups we have the brush tool this is the clone stamp which can also be used to pretty much do what it says clone something so let's see if I can do this here I'm gonna go so you can just pretty much select wherever you need to and then you know you'll see it happen here it's kinda small at this point but if I want to say clone that and you know just work with whatever you have to but if you work really close you can really clone some cool stuff and and make it look really uh, really interesting or, or get rid of stuff that you don't want there maybe I don't want that window I can I use the clone tool to really work with that and remove that window from the scene uh, also I have the blur tool which I can go ahead and this do the strength on it. it needs to be on the right layer And the blur tool usually takes a little while to um, to render everything, from what I find, from not only this version but also normal Photoshop too. It's doing a lot, so just keep that in mind. And you just keep working with it, and you'll see it um, starting to blur. Okay, right here we have the sponge tool which is almost like a like a different effect where we can go ahead and we can use a desaturate or saturate mode and uh, might be too 
just wanted to see the stuff here. And we have a dodge tool and then also the burn tool, which is traditional photo um, you know, photo developing techniques where either you would let more light in or less light over the um, over the film that's being developed to give a, a different look. So you'll see here that. I gotta make it darker. You know, it's like it's just a technique like that. Pretty cool. Then we have our draw, we have the brush tool, we have the eraser tool, paint bucket for filling, a gradation tool, the eyedropper so we can pick different colors. This is your custom shape tool, so if we want to do different shapes and fill it, we have the fill options, uh, text, obviously, and the pencil tool. Finally, down here, we have the modify, which is the crop, which we talked about before, recompose tool, cookie cutter tool, and the straighten tool. The straighten tool is great when you have photos that are just a little bit off kilter, and you can go ahead and use that, and it will pretty much level it um, to what you need to. And we have the cookie cutter. And I actually gotta, gotta zoom out here so you can see it. That'd be a big help. So we got, got those different different effects. We have a cook, you know, the cookie cutter is really whatever you want to use here. So say we want to want to use use this and it, can, it should um, go around what we're actually trying to do so let me just get rid of these other layers so I can show you real quick yeah I don't want those layers and that's the cookie cutter so we'll cut out around you know that image like a cookie cutter for the most part also we have our recompose tool And we can do different photo ratios. And then, of course, we have our traditional photo selection right here. So, I mean, overall, you'll see all the different effects within this program. I mean, really, really amazing. And especially if you're planning on eventually moving up to the full version of Photoshop, this is really going to get you started in the right direction, especially with the effects. Uh, most of the toolbar options here as far as, like, the lasso and things like that really really great you can also go ahead and um, you know you, you can save this to a bunch of different formats we can there's some automation tools um, you can save for the web so if you're working with JPEGs or uh, GIF images it uh, puts on the file compression and we have our fill layers and a bunch of different preferences and everything like that um, we can also divide scan photos so if you scan a bunch of photos that are uh, together um, this will divide it right there for you uh, we have our automatic smart fix levels the red eye reduction um, on sharp mask and uh, photo merge which will um, you know bring together some different things uh, like a panorama shot so if you have a couple shots it will automatically merge it together also exposures which I would guess the photo merge exposure haven't used it but is most likely creating like a high dynamic range photo you can convert to black and white we have our layer options select filters again um, different views all of our different windows and of course your help section Overall, I'm going to have to give the Adobe Photoshop Elements 11 really one damn good review. I mean, the price, especially the package price that includes uh, Photoshop Elements 11 and Premiere Elements 11, you can't beat it. You get a great video editor and you get a great photo editor. And um, really, this is the way to go. Um, I highly recommend Photoshop Elements 11. Really can't say enough about it. And uh, it's a great tool, has lots and lots of features. And... Uh, can get you started with a, the quick start guide from a guided tour to uh, applying all those facts and then you have that expert mode again this is Photoshop Elements 11 highly recommended one damn good review uh, thanks for watching and uh, be sure to check us out on the web at damngoodreviews.com